She's the artist. And he's insane. And together, together we're, we're smoke, smoke scales, scales, and scribbles. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey. Hey. Buongiorno. Sure. Of course you have to be the weird one. You can't just say hello like the rest of us. Sorry. You so, have to be the oddball. I'm an Aquarius. One of us has to be. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I am too. Don't throw me under the bus. <laughs> yeah, and you're a weirdo too. You're my weirdo, but you're still a weirdo. Jesus, what a dick. I'm a She's bitch. She's spicy today. I am an airy Scorpio. That means I am an inherent asshole times two. <laughs> Guns of Leo's in everything. She's oh, just man. a straight asshole too, see? You guys are both fucked. Good job. All I could think of is it in Paul. Well, I guess we're both fucked. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's better to be willingly fucked than unwillingly raped. I mean... I guess. He is. Where did my Pepsi go? On the I guess it's good to be truck. pissed and not pissed on. That's true. Pissed and off and not pissed it. on. Yep, right there. There it is. So, you remember how I was looking all over the house for my water here a little while ago? It's right there. Fucking found it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Damn it. I guess now I have a backup drink. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> right? I have a blade nose. Okay. So I'm like trying to like... Well then go in that house and get a no, fucking tissue it's room. it's alright. The one day we were standing there having a conversation in the back and literally his nose just started bleeding. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a day. You had three that day. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. A lot of times in season changes and winter time. So when it's dry and then as the season change, it pisses his nose off. Wow, my words all slurred really bad together there. I'm Are sorry. you sure over there? Like, yes. Oh, seriously. We're going to Mike Tyson it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> if everybody else can make fun of it and not get in trouble, I can too, goddammit. We say lots of things that aren't necessarily appropriate. What, like Chick Guide? Yeah. yeah. That's First time I said I that on the podcast, that. him and Red looked at me like, are you fucking kidding me? Tyler, because he has a lazy eye. And I would say, you're Chick Guide. Chick Guide! <sighs> or if someone says something about an Indian, I'm like, feather or dot? <laughs> Every time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but like, I need to know which one we're talking about. Well, see, I've learned... I don't say Indian now. If I say Indian, it means dot. Right. Because otherwise, I say native. native I know, native. and that's why I don't ask you when you say it anymore. <laughs> I'm but just like, saying. When I've... I'm listening to a story from someone, I will literally look at him and go, feather or dot? And he's like, feather. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> native. And he'll be, nobody else knows what I'm talking about. He does, though. And everybody looks at me like, I'm like, just don't. Clouds are starting to turn purple. I know, it's pretty over there. Pink and purple. Pink, pink and blue. Emperor, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it ain't gonna get much color tonight, though, since mm-hmm. it's so cloudy. And so low. So and low gross. Really low, it's so. fucking cold! Last week we were... 30 degrees. Nah, we were talking about how awesome it was weather-wise last week, and then this week's just uh, boot tag. It's booty. When I got in my car, it said 30 degrees. Gross. Yeah. And I had to leave the house today, and I had to leave the house again tomorrow. I'm like, motherfuckers. Oh, my. Join the club with the rest of us. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, the kids had she, therapy. Speed yeah. therapy, yeah. She literally leaves the house twice a week. Take all three of them? Two. No, two. Oh. I I uh, pick. I take oh, the baby right. with me, that's and then right. I pick the boy or the other boy up from school. The boy rides the bus home, and he's usually here when he gets home. So today I wasn't. No. I was on my run. If, if he's old enough that if he's home for a half hour, forty five minutes by himself, yeah, he's fine. As long as he knows his do's and don'ts, and he know, I leave him a note. He knows that he's not allowed to answer the door, nothing like that. He's not allowed to cook, he's not allowed to use... Yeah, I don't even let him use the toaster, because that kid... No. See, I would let... I, now, Gunner... Roll off a piece Gunner of paper uses, and shove it in the toaster. Gunner uses whatever, fire, yeah. you know. But like I said, when he was younger, he he was only allowed to use the microwave. Oh and he knew God. that's all he was allowed yep, to use. That's and he, it had to be, like, a microwave bowl, or, you know, don't put anything with metal in it. Oh, because they did. They put tinfoil in my microwave, and it mm. was... Yeah. That's right. I, uh... Cooked a. I'm not sure exactly what I cooked in, it, in it now, but I cooked something in a metal pan one time in the microwave. Not here. At the you store. Haven't. At the store, for eight whole minutes. Oh my god. 
It cooked, yeah, one of the metal pans. I cooked one something in one of those in the microwave. I don't know what I was thinking. For eight whole minutes, and it never had a problem. They had that, old, not the new microwave, right? No. The old one, that, yeah. I think that thing. Could. I think that probably was just too broken to care. Oh, it was like 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't give a fuck. It was like ghetto wave ages. I told them about the ghetto wave. Yeah? Yeah. My mom had a microwave that was my mom and dad's uh, wedding gift from somebody. And we threw it out finally, like, when I was, like, in my 20s. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so I was, like, 25 years old. You had to put it to six minutes to cook popcorn all the way through. Holy fuck. That was the ghetto wave. We threw it out, and it still worked fine. It just... Took forever. You have to wait, like, eight minutes to cook a fucking plate of food. If I wanted to do that, I'd use a damn oven. <laughs> so not only did we have to make them one subs, the nine or whatever. Come in. Oh, Jesus. Three meatballs. Meat wads. The sky was really pretty red. The camera didn't do it any justice. I, I saw that you were pretty yeah. in, invested in it. It was like, you can see it now still. It's still red, but it's not, not nearly as bright as it was. Right. It, it's just your eyes, Jordan. Uh-huh. It's, it's, okay. really, it's really bright. Right. <laughs> Rip another Dabsky, that'll help it. Yeah. It'll liven it up real quick. Speaking of Z Oh, yeah, hey, which one do you want first? We want your new one. Yeah. Okay. okay. We already per- voted. Perry. I didn't know we voted, Perry but this is Perry. Because it's Periwinkle. And for all of you people that don't know what Periwinkle is, it's purple. Yeah. yeah, it's like a, a purplish blue. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Violet almost. A blurple. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love that color. So we went to the expo this weekend, and I told you guys know we got Pete, right? Little brown and old Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we have Patty and Petty to go with Petey. <coughs> it's Petunia. Yeah. I right? think you were talking to somebody yeah. about them. No, Patricia. That's yeah, we have Patricia and. Petunia <coughs> and Pete. Pete. Peter. Peter. Yep. Petey, Patty, oh, and Petty. Peter. Peter. Which they're really good at hiding. I can only find one of them at a time. <coughs> There's three of them in a little tiny tank like this, and you can't ever find any of them. They're like masters of hiding. I think that one of them's a male that we got for sure. Because he had a deep lap. <laughs> He, we didn't see it when we, because we specifically looked at all of them to try to see if they had dewlaps. As soon as we put him in there, he started nodding his head and put his dewlap out. I'm like, you dickhead. Yep. Little red one. But that's okay. Did so, you tell him that you found out your other things in mail too? Yeah. Yeah. Tinley. Yes. I told you we discovered Tinley was definitely a boy. Yes. That's the one I was here for. <laughs> I got you. You were talking about the. <coughs> I thought you were talking about Pete. No. I was like, no. huh? Nope. Tinley. Yeah, we knew Tinley was a boy. They yeah. told us that he was. He they he just confirmed it for us. Yeah. I gotcha. <coughs> he was humping the wall. <coughs> he was a horny little bastard the other day. <coughs> he was the rock, the his yeah. hammock, the log. <coughs> <coughs> I'm like, dude. Enough to could reciprocate, so you know. Oh, you need to get him a little girl. <coughs> She'll have to go in a separate enclosure, though, until they're both of age, because if not, then he can try and breed her too early, and it could be a problem. Yeah, gotcha. So we just have to keep her in a separate enclosure just for a little bit. You know, just another 75, 120 gallon, you know, something like that. <laughs> just another one. It'll be all right. You just put rats well, in after... the Well, after... Come to hang down. Right? I, after I get... Harry upgraded, then I gotta do the tablet, and then I'm gonna do Tinley. <coughs> Good lord. And then probably Robert. And that'll be the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take me that long. For oh, sure. Yeah. You guys are quiet. Always. Yeah, but quiet's not good for podcasting. <laughs> Carrie's been talking. Yet has been talking. I don't care if I know my name. <laughs> we just try to make sure I'm everyone has a good name. 
Yeah, because, like, Scott is the new guy, and he will always be the new guy, even when he's not actually the new guy anymore. I've never had a nickname. You're Jordan. Just Jordan. Because that's what you wanted, other than something that was really crazy off the wall, and I was like, no. <laughs> and I don't even remember what it was now. Mr. Death Defier. <coughs> I was like, no, I'm not calling you something crazy, you goober. That's, that's my name on all gaming platforms. I move. Mr. Anti-Squid. <laughs> Kids set it up. <laughs> I think it's my actual name. Here. Something. 420. Oh. I played a game of Modern Warfare one time, and the it's only way the box. entire people, anybody would say my name was actually to moo into the microphone. They'd moo and then say a sentence. I'm like, motherfuckers. <laughs> I think I tried to play that. I don't know. There's a game that Tyler plays anyways. And it drops you. And no sooner it dropped me, I got killed. I'm like, I ain't playing this. <laughs> Fuck this game. I used to be bombing at Mo- Modern Warfare 2 back in the day. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, but like I said, it might be the new Black Ops or something. I don't know. Oh, but Like I said, it literally dropped me and I was dead. And I'm like, and I gave him the controller. I'm like, I'm done. I'll have to make Jordan play with me sometime because nobody will play that game with me anymore. Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, nobody will play it with me. She has all the maps memorized, and she screen I watches. It so much. Uh, so literally, oh, she'll no. be like sitting there waiting for you. As soon as you walk by, bang, dead. No, I have the she, most. Oh, beautiful, she's a campy McCamperson. No, I run all over the no. fucking place. I have a beautiful scope that if your foot pokes out, I can see your foot glowing, oh. and I can shoot you in your big toe, and nice. you die. And she only plays on dipshit mode there. Hardcore, so oh. one shot, you're dead. That's it. So. It's when she shoots mode. you in the foot because you moved and you're she dead. was sitting somewhere, you're dead. A lot of those maps is really small and you have to be very careful. Yeah. She really likes playing in the one with the airport. I remember back in the day we used to have uh, Xbox parties and play Halo. Mm-hmm. You'd hook a whole bunch of them up. Him and I play Halo together. We're pretty evenly batched on that. Sometimes he I would, like sometimes I game. would. Halo 1 and 2. We like playing. We yeah. usually like playing too, though. Yeah. We like the maps on too. I like the maps on it. <sighs> we haven't played in a while, but we Shit. haven't really had time. And my Xbox doesn't work anymore. We haven't played any video games in forever. Why don't it work? My, I, got, I don't know. It won't turn on. It'll turn on and be like... Nyeh. I wonder if the motor needs cleaned. I don't, I don't know. Heard that. I tore it all apart, actually, oh, didn't I? did. Tore it all apart, cleaned all of it that I could reach. I need to take it and get it fixed because I uh, I have games that I enjoy playing on that when I do have time to play. I love it. That's funny. I got it for Christmas. Nice. I have Sonic. Sonic game. Oh, oh. For the PlayStation. Sonic the Hedgehog, you know. I like yeah. playing uh, Crash Bandicoot now. <laughs> I think maybe that's... Knuckles and what's his name? I was Dr. not very Nefario good at it, but I had fun playing it. Oh, yeah. So. Not Dr. Nefario. My brother had a PlayStation 2, and we played um, that Dangerous Hunts game. That Robotnik. fucking thing was hard yeah. as shit. Yeah, that one. Dr. Nefario is from uh, Minions. Despicable Me. I yeah. remember the original Nintendo with Duck Hunter. And that gun. Oh, dude. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to have it. I was good at Duck Hunter. Grandma was we have original Nintendo. Grandma's favorite was Yeah. Tetris. Yeah, we do. Where is it, my love? At my mom's. Uh huh. And why is it at I your mom's? Because I forgot. Didn't taste no matter good. how many times I asked that wonderful man to bring our video game systems here, including the Nintendo 64, we always forget. I bought a brand new 64 I love that. a couple of years ago for my, own, for my birthday for myself. Okay. Nice. It was like what I don't know five Still years ago. Have to blow yeah. in him, put it in. I don't know. It's at his mom's. We haven't oh. got to play. <laughs> Same, yeah, we used to have to blow in the thing. In the sixty fours yeah. too. Yeah, we were rough on our games. Mm-hmm. We used to do it in would, our on the original Nintendo, but I never just, had a sixty four until like I bought. Said, the yeah, new we one. would just throw our games in piles and yeah. Oh, well, we yeah, they weren't discs. Them. Fuck, they were plastic yeah. hard things. Yeah, right. yeah we you have to blow them out occasionally. Yeah, you do. I like Yoshi. That's another. You just one gotta of my make favorites. sure you don't have like a spitty mouth. Yeah, Yoshi. She likes favorite. Mario sixty four. Oh, dude, I used to Mario kick Mario. ass at that game. <laughs> I miss it. Oh, and which I don't know how the fuck because you can't play Mario now. 
Jesus Mario's fuck. Super Mario. Because Super Yoshi because Yoshi Super Six, Mario 64 the controller Mario. is more complex than the controller for the original Mario. Like it's more like You give her literally the game. D-pad, the two buttons, she can't fucking play. I can't do it. She can play fucking Modern Warfare with 13 <laughs> buttons, but she can't literally push forward, back, up, down and Dude, fucking play AB. Mario with me sometime. I will fuck your life up and I don't oh, even Oh, if mean you to. play the goddamn <laughs> Wii one with her, she literally <laughs> jumps on you. <laughs> it knocks you into holes and she keeps going. And then she fucking dies eight feet later because she blows at playing kids, Mario. I made the kids put the. I lied. It's uh, on, not we. Um, no, I'm talking switch. about the Wii, though. The Wii, I make the kids put. I had to make them put the things on because one time they were bowling and they threw it and it went right through my TV. Oh my like, God. Whole, yeah. Because they were. Oh. I, I've seen that happen quite a few times. Well, like, I'll just try and jump across a thing following him, and I end up accidentally jumping on top of him, too, and then he goes in the hole, and I survive, and he's like, don't fucking move until I come back. Because, yeah, because you come back in a little bubble. Oh, and then you have to pop the bubble to get your teammate back. favorite's when I accidentally yeah. pop the bubble over a crevice. Every so time. Die. She's horrible. Oh. Uh, she's a horrible teammate in that oh, game. Oh, my gosh. That reminds me of my boys, because they'll play uh, football, what is that? Oh, um... Madden? Yeah, yeah. Madden, or 2K20. 2K22. They, they cheat, because Tyler will be doing really good, so he'll pause it. When it's Xander's, like, trying to do something with the ball, he'll pause it, and then unpause it, so therefore, you know... He fucks yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah, and they do it to each other. Oh my god. So How's that any play. fun? <laughs> Little turd birds. Th- then they, they fight, and then they get pissed off each other, and then Xander say, I'm not playing with you, and he'll go out and play on his PlayStation, and Tyler will play on his. Although Tyler was so excited because he, he has to have the sling on, but he's allowed to start moving it, so... He, he can play video control. games. <laughs> That's funny. He just had to bring his other hand. If it was like this, he'd just bring his other hand like this yeah, and play. it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would. <laughs> but he, he didn't even dare to, you know, because he wasn't a lot. You know, he was scared to even fucking, like, take the sling off the first day or the next day. Oh, my God. I'd have been like, so get it take off. A shower. Yeah. And all they did when we went to doctors is, of course, they took the dressing off. And he had the thing that went around his body. They just cut that off and left the same sling. Mm-hmm. It's basically on there now just for protection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's Good. allowed to start using it, but he can't, you know, weight-bearing. Then, right. Then he goes back, like I said, in three weeks, and he goes, they better let me go back to work. I'm like, Tyler, they're not going to let you. You have to do physical therapy. It's going to be like to five work. or six weeks at that oh, yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, six weeks. He goes, well, how long were you off? I said, 12. Plus the, you know, two months before that. Yeah. Yeah. The whole process was really shitty. Yeah. Your mom, like, I really thought she was going to fire me. Because, like, when I told her I'd have surgery, she goes, oh, so you would be able to come right back? No. <laughs> oh. It's not that easy. No. Right. Well, some of them, it's some like within a week or two you can, but... If she I wouldn't fire you over If I would have been sitting, then I could have come right back. But because it's the standing, the lifting, the bending, the... Twisting. Smoke yours next. Oh, yeah. I smoke Shafira. I gotta clean her up a little bit. Bah. Probably all that resin you've been smoking out of her. Yeah. No, I think what it is is it's just the, the key. Light the fucking thing. <laughs> Jesus. You can clean it later. <laughs> yeah. Light it. <laughs> light it. Light it. Or you will lose privileges of lighting it. <laughs> just keep it going the same way just because then nobody gets it fucked up. We're all stoned. God, yeah, Slightly stoned. We're not normal. assholes like Red that just switches it around all willy nilly. Like, <laughs> or fucking like, yeah. Whoever he, <coughs> whoever he wants to hand it to. Yeah. Yep. And then you have to try to remember that when you're like half-assed, like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like playing that game, so <laughs> we just pass it the same direction all night. Whatever way it decides to go the first time, that's the way it goes the whole night. Are you looking yeah. for the tool? What's up? Yes. Is it plugged? Or this something? is yucky. Yeah. Is it? There's some like the hell. Yeah. Jordan, what are you doing? It's clogged. And then it's like oh, grody too. Like, it's probably got pocket linen in it. Mine get if I keep them in my pocket, that happens. Is that what it was? Oh, I don't know. I don't I can't fucking see know. It. It's gross. Sorry. Or it's resin. Whatever the fuck it it's is. It's probably both. Yeah. Literally. Resin and pocket lint. 
Yeah, on my lips. I'm sorry. Not a fan of it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it has to suck it. <laughs> Dig it. That's what she said. Because <clears throat> that is what she said. I um, say it. That's I more like what he said to her. I don't want to. it. There was a piece of on the end of my stick. <laughs> Plus, she's fucking clogged, bud. Is she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a tool for everything. I have the Mary Poppins pockets. Like, you could barely hit that thing. You have to, like, really... Right on, yeah. Fucking... We'll let Malia clean it. Yeah, good luck. It's a tight little hole. <laughs> <laughs> there is a there is weed in there still. I know. I'm just shaking around. It's fucking fine. Dirty. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that shit's dirty. <laughs> Grody. It's all grody. Well, when is the only pipe you got? Tends to get next. Fair. You need to get some stoner tools, sir. Yes, I do. Like a couple stabby pokies. Yeah. 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 One of these little you know shovel things. Wonderful. You know the incense, the one, the end of the stick. That yeah, works wonderful. Problem is, my luck. I'd fucking break it in there because yeah. I'm yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. And exactly. Same. I'm like the most Impatient, unlucky fucking dude around. Stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The paper clips work too. We're gonna pause the pipe until I'm done with this, so just keep talking. Oh, that's okay. nasty. You're fucking telling me. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. Getting some. It is nasty. Getting some uh, get off. impressions out there. I can't get the fucking pipe cleaner in here because somebody's got the other end of the clock. Oh, right. <laughs> it's always good to have the end of it clogged. <laughs> she didn't like my. Would you just give up on it? No. Because now it's gonna be That's all. Better. It's gonna be all fuzzy. You're gonna be all fuzzy. I would like to be fuzzy. Like <laughs> I'm hoping my brain's gonna be fuzzy when I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, don't Mine break can be shit. fuzzy when I pull into my driveway. Huh? Mine can be fuzzy when I pull into my driveway. And sometimes I just sit there thinking, oh my god, 17 fucking steps. Dave. I don't know. I tried to skip my I husband. 17 steps going upstairs to my apartment. It's your pipe and I was looking at you. I was like, here, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, bowl. Why? My brain doesn't work. I even like no. And I was She's like, like no, and no, I was like, bitch, no, yes. No, and I was like, oh, no, I was kidding, no. you know. <laughs> so let's talk about a strand, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Sorry that I'm retarded, and this is going to be kind of because I'm just—it's not good. Oh God, I hit a button. Okay. So <laughs> we're. Talking about Haysbury tonight. Oh. Its genetics is a stativa dominant, eighty percent. Parents are blueberry, shining silver haze. THC is twenty percent, so it's a medium amount. Uh, the smell and flavor is citrus, sweet, and berry. That's the effects. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna interrupt you. Yeah, go ahead. That sounds very good. Right. Yeah, it sounds it delightful. It does sound really nice. I like berry. It's, it has a strong, happy, uplifting, relaxed, and cerebral high. Sounds very yeah, nice. No. Would you say this was an indica sativa <laughs> hybrid? A stativa, eighty percent dominant. Okay. I like that because it makes you in the sky. It says <laughs> Hazeberry, the best of indica and stativa. Hazeberry is an eighty percent sativa hybrid cannabis strain. It has become increasingly popular in California and is loved for its strong, euphoric, and high THC concentrations. It is a cross between classic blueberry indica and a shining silver haze stativa. Alright, there's like 37 paragraphs about it, so, so I'm not reading all that. a hybrid? Yeah. Because it has both, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's I just had to leave a dog. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. I had to it's register okay. Register what you were saying. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I talk fast. All right. The grow uh, situation for it. Jesus. It's a medium difficulty to grow. It's a photo period flowering type. Eleven, nine to eleven weeks at the end of October. So you're looking at like the middle of uh, July, or August, which is crazy. Huh? <laughs> You'd have to grow inside. Here we would, yes. That's what I'm saying around here. Uh, indoor yield is 500 to 550 grams per square meter. Outdoor yield yield is 650 per plant. I have a silly Shit. question. So. This particular one, we'd have to grow inside that time of year because of where we live. Yes. So, why couldn't you grow it any time of year inside? I mean, you can. Right, Is that saying could. that's what it... Like, if you grow it out... Yeah. You can grow it outside, that's yeah. when you have to do it? Yeah. I got you. <coughs> that's what it does its best. I got you. Okay. And then it grows 60 to 100 meters indoors and 160 to 180s outdoor. So, it's significantly bigger outdoors. <laughs> You can buy the seeds. You can buy the seeds from Royal Queen Seeds. Just to let you know. All right. Shut up, Beavis. That's a dumb movie. I am the great corn player. I had to watch it with my brother, so yeah. No. Let's go. No, one of the dumbest fucking idiots. I have the first two full seasons of Beavis in my head on DVDs. She won't let me watch them. Why? Because she says it's stupid. Dude, I love the movie Beavis. And then I also have View America, yeah. I love that one. That one's my favorite. Yeah, I have all of the retarded, like, uh, childish TV shows. Yeah, I have all of them. Porky's, Porky's, can I tell you that? Me and my brother watched it. Like, that was a movie my parents said we weren't allowed to watch. So, of course, you automatically want to watch it. And... I tried to rat on my brother and told my mom that my brother was watching porno. And it was Porky's. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, there is boobs in it, so I, know, I mean. No, but I'm just saying, I was, I was young, you know. Like I said, in my, I knew my parents had bad movies, so I right? assumed it was a bad movie. And I said, yeah, Jimmy was watching porno. Oh, he got in so much trouble. <laughs> That's was awesome. So pissed. I never seen the first one. I did see Porky's Two, Porky's no, I've Revenge. Seen, I've seen all that was of funny. them. We watched them all. We we uh, I actually used to have Porky's. I don't know what happened to it a long time ago. It's a funny movie. I've never seen it. Raunchy. It's raunchy, but it's really funny. Not necessarily like nudity raunchy. There's only like a couple of scenes that like whatsoever, but like just the shit that happens. And it's just raunchy. Just that, huh? What's the name of that movie where that guy? Jacks off a dog and puts it in donuts. Dude, that movie. Is that waiting? I don't. I can't even. No, it. Hmm. Not another teen movie. No. 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 That movie ruined. I. I won't watch that movie. It's a movie I refuse to watch because I damn near puked watching yeah, that, that was, movie. Yes. I was disgusting. It was so disgusting. Here. Is that? Oh, are you talking? Um. Oh. Van Wilder. Oh, fuck yeah, Van Wilder. Yep. Yeah. I, knew I have Van Wilder too. Yeah. Didn't he have like six or twelve of them? Bullsack. <laughs> That's who you're talking about. I don't Bullsack. fucking know, but that one was gross and I won't watch it. I literally was ready to puke and gagging because it was just disgusting. <laughs> I love how their way of winning is just getting the girl with the big titties to flash her titties to the other team so that way they would look away and they would win. <laughs> Come on, that's such a college thing to do. It is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I really like the guy that plays Kumar, though. And he plays Van Wilder in that, too. But he's not even an actor anymore. He's a politician. Dumb. The guy that played Kumar in Harold and Kumar movies. Really? Yeah, he's a politician. He quit acting to be a politician. I did not know that. Yeah. I can't imagine wanting to be a politician. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, that last hit was pretty... I regret inhaling that. I don't know. It tasted nasty. Because <coughs> <coughs> I think it's a mix of uh, uh-uh. pocket resin. lint and resin. I'm done if with I that. Take a hit, I'm good. Mm, it's gross. 
Jordan. No bueno. Before you hand me this pipe again. Fucking pocket. Before you hand me this pipe again, do me a favor. And clean it. Fucking clean it. Okay. Boil it out. Thank you, buddy. Clean it properly. Put it in water and boil it out. Yeah, boil it out. Yeah, like clean it again. It'll make sure yes. when you do though, you put like a washcloth or a towel or something in the bottom of the pan so that your glass isn't like hitting against the hard metal. Oh, yeah. And it helps protect it from that direct heat a little bit. How do I kill the smell? It'll just do it at my house. Yeah, you have to do it at yeah, his house. Okay. Sorry, sweetie. Yeah, you can't do it with Graham. Yeah. No. You'll she get caught. Would kill you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she would. Oh, dude, she would murder your ass. Mm -hmm. The car smelled like weed one time, and yeah. she bitched at Jordan. I was that was the day that he dumped a bunch in it or something like that? Yeah. And then she caught him on it and, and it was like, know, two hey. weeks later I was sitting there and I was sitting in the path. Fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, clean it the fuck out. He dumps it in mine, too. No. Lately, because... You need to get him a weed funnel. <sighs> and I just need to not let him pack it. I will pack it. I'm not good at packing it. I got big fingers. Yeah, see? That's why I pack the bowls. And I get, yep. <laughs> I get the dabs my around. Yep. I get the dabs around. My hands ain't like tiny. That. Mine either, but my fingers are skinnier. No, mine ain't skinny. They're skinnier than his. Yeah, yeah but she's used to packing. Um, I don't. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so which question? She only has one question tonight. I do only have one question tonight. She's slacking. I am slacking. And it's so, my question. I it is. Her. I didn't even fucking come up with it. He did. <laughs> so. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> All these, okay, so when you find, like, these little deals and stuff, and you're like, ooh, this might be a really cool thing, and you buy it, okay, and it ends up working really a well. product. Yeah, like yeah. a product, and you wish you had bought fucking 50 of them instead of just that one. What is it? Like, what all products that you use do you wish that you bought more of because they were really good products? You know, when that one dies, you're going to buy a piece of shit that ain't going to work nearly as good. Like well, salt disinfectant wipes. Okay. All right. Those All things right. are lovely. I like the Clorox ones myself. I have yeah. two ex two to be. Uh, mine would have to be perfume. So you know that little screwdriver set I have in the house? Yeah. I paid fucking five dollars for that thing, and I bought it just because I was living on my own and I needed a, a screwdriver set. And I carried it in my purse for the longest time. Dude, I still have that son of a bitch, and I use it all the time. And I'm so afraid it's going to break or I'm going to lose something out of it. And I'm not going to be able to find it because it was in a clearance bin at Tractor Supply. Oh, I got a purple and black one from up there. Yeah? It's about this big yeah. and all my, like, the bits go inside and then, yeah, I yeah. got it up there for five ninety nine. Yeah. I uh, have clearance. I get a lot of shit up there. You, I do. When I first walk in there, even if I don't need it. Hey, right. You know, you never know. You, you could know? in the future. I could, I could buy one and... Right. Right. I do understand you now because yes, I use that on everything. <laughs> Shit that um, I probably shouldn't. Her hair straightener. Yeah. Like her her mom bought her a hair straightener a couple of years ago, and you could set like the temperature on it. Like you can't all of them. Yeah. But like you could plug it in, set it for three fifty, go and comb your hair for like a half a second, and then it's already hot. Mine too. Okay. And, like, it's, like, perfect, too. Like There's oh, a reason great. that it's such a stellar hair straightener. It's because it's a $400 hair straightener. Holy shit. I don't... Mine ain't that much, but I'm... However... Mine is the same way you can set it and walk away. And I, then I have another one, too. I done told you, when that one dies, we're buying another one. I will pay the $400, because I have never been able to straighten my hair in 10 minutes. What if they have a better one that's 500 yeah, but no. No, I'm fine with the 400. <laughs> but see, that's just it. They'll it'll be obsolete, Cheaper. and they'll have a right. new one, right? I'm and saying. it won't be nearly as good as the one we have. Right. Well, I'm still because that's how you everything works, used, right? You know that one. So therefore, you already know how it is. So you wouldn't have to go to the next step up. And then my other thing is her nose uh, trimmers and ear trimmers and eyebrow trimmer. I'd buy about fifty of them. You like that little fucker, do you? Oh, dude, like, you just, like, I cut my nose. Like, I used mine, I cut my nose. Literally up here, like, where, you know, because my nose, I have that flap right there. I hit it, and it, it cut. Ow! Like, but yeah. So now oh. I'm in the mirror. Now I put my nose up. And yep. I bought a little, <laughs> but like, it's a, it's got two attachable heads on it, and one of them's for your eyebrows, and, like, if you're trimming this yep. stuff. And, and the eyebrows, you're just like. <laughs> yep. And it's all done. It has a guard, a guard over it, so it's not like... This one doesn't. No, this one doesn't have a guard. Nope. 
And then it's like got it. a little round one for your nose. You go, meow, meow, I'm done. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It is. Hair in my ears. Like How about you? What? What would you buy? Like what product? Oh, disinfectant wipes. Yes, something else that's like technology. Okay. Um. <laughs> blender. Yeah, you have a certain kind of blender you like. Is it like a bullet or something? Like a shark no, bullet it, or something? it's not that, but you can actually has a juicer thing right on it, so you don't mm-hmm. have to... I don't know the name of it, but yeah, I love it. It'll cut ice, it'll cut anything. Yeah. Oh, I don't use my blender very often, but when we do use oh. it, it is a nice fucking blender. I use it when I make strawberry shortcake because... I bought her one so she could make smoothies I like, a long time ago, I like, and we've never I had smoothies. I like, personally, it's like, milkshakes. Chunky, and it's you know, know chunky strawberry shortcake. My kids like it almost like a puree, so the blender works wonderful. There you go. Right? Did you come up with something? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, toaster oven. You okay. like your toaster oven? I love my toaster oven. It was 170 bucks, and it was worth every penny. <laughs> I've comes, never had a toaster oven. Listen, no, it me comes either. like, it looks like an oven. I did. We used it to have comes... a toaster oven at Subway before we had the speed oven, so that thing sucked dick. <laughs> <laughs> you could fit like a sub and a half in there, and it took like oh, two minutes to toast today. anything. I went to reach in there Sorry. to grab a sub, and like, I think it was D was here, and you were, no, yeah, it was you right here, and I... Who do I work with? You and D today, yeah. yeah. And I went to grab it, and on the the lid, my finger just Ooh. across it, and the plastic melted right to my hand. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh shit, that hurts. Sorry, I interrupted you. And then she had a full on story off of my interruption. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me about the toaster oven. Yes, I've never the toaster had oven. one. How, why it was so amazing? <clears throat> it has two racks. Okay, is that not normal? Well, actually it has more than two racks. It has like five, but it has five layers, but it's got two racks, okay? <coughs> it comes with a grease rack at the bottom. Okay, like a grease tray? Sounds like a normal oven so far. No. Oh, okay. It's at the bottom of the whole thing. You open the door, <laughs> okay. and you, you've got the trays. Well, at the bottom, there's a spot for it. And it collects all the grease and shit. Well, it's got... Two things you can put a basket in for the fries and a button that'll turn it on and it'll rotate as it cooks the fries. I think a I'll stick to my air yeah. fryer. And it's got a I rotisserie. Love my air fryer. That's kind of what it is. I have two of them. Yeah, so do we. we have one that's broken now. I have a really big one. Yeah, and I have us too. this little dinky yep. one. Uh, us and too. the little dinky one is the one I bought first because I wanted to try it. Because I'm like, I'm not I bought it her, yet. like, a, it was like 40 some dollars. Yep. For like this big and like yeah. this tall, and the thing in it's like this. It's not bad. I mean, no. if it's like good for like a single or a double serving, but if you're looking to like do I a did. whole yeah. load of fries, it don't work. I just <laughs> want to try. It. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try it before I. Buy, I really you know, wanted one. And then, Val, I bought vows, and I'm telling you, I love it. Like I've cooked whole meals in there. Oh my! My mom mother-in-law. bought us a retardedly, in, like it had to have been expensive. It had to. Like I it's got like things. a sautéing button. Uh-huh. You just sauté shit in the bottom. Wow, yeah, sweet. it's an air and fryer, it's a crock pot. Um, it's pressure a cooker. Pressure cooker. Wow, oh, it's yeah. insane, like, and it's a gallon. Like it's, it's like fucking. I can throw whole meals in there and be like, "Whoop, done in twenty minutes. See you later." Summertime, I use that fucker all oh, yeah. the time because my house gets hot as fuck. I don't have air conditioning. Yeah, and that doesn't right. make it get too hot. I mean, you can feel a little bit. But yeah, but it's not like running the oven. Or right. Unless you're the using stove. a pressure cooker, because when you turn off like all the pressure, like you hit the button to release the pressure, then it gets hot in the house yeah. instantly because it's like. Saying, I've been here in the summertime yeah. when it's like. Oh, I know. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It's fucking wicked in there. The other day it was like eighty four in there. Even worse because you have no oh my God. Well, we have come up with a plan, and it actually worked pretty good the other day. In the morning, I turn all of their lights on for like an hour to let them warm up uh-huh. in the morning, and then I turn their heat lights off and just leave their daylights on. And there's only like three or four of them that I leave their heat light mm-hmm. on too because they need it warm, warm. Yeah. And the rest of them just have daylight bulbs all day, and then I turn them back on about an hour before bedtime yeah. and let them heat up before bed. There you go. And it worked actually pretty well the other day to keep our house from getting to like 120 That's degrees. Good. But in, I mean, in the wintertime, it's okay because, you know, you're... Keep well, it house heats warm our house healthy. warm, yeah. Yes, but in the summertime, that's, yeah. The heater don't even run after 11 a.m. until like uh, midnight, probably. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
garage. Yeah. Yeah, we only filled our gas yeah. thing one time all winter. Yeah, nice. we have a little one now, dude. Yeah, we only have a 300-gallon gas tank. <laughs> we only filled it once. No shit. Yeah, it was great. Like, the end of February. We... I always fill it in uh, September before the winter starts, yeah. and then I didn't have to fill it until the end of February. To. Yep. Nice. But freaking gas was like <sighs> stupid. Yeah, it was like forty cents more a gallon when I bought it in spring or in September. Well, I was like, good one lord, I had just had to have. That's pretty. I like the green. Slime green. I'm, I'm bad. I'll go in there and I go in there and I'm stoned and I'm like, oh, this is pretty and I get it. And sometimes they're like almost three, four bucks for a lighter. That's what happens when I walk through Walmart by the clothes section. I'm like, oh, that's adorable, snag. Yeah. And the lighters, the big packs of lighters at Walmart, they get me every time. Oh. <coughs> like, I love those shorts. I got I got a pair last week, and I like them so much that I needed a second pair. These ones have butterflies on them. Woot. My butterfly leggings that I have that are, like, teal I've seen them and... before. There's big butterflies. Big rainbow they're, butterflies they're on black. Flashy. Yeah, she has yeah. the shorts to it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love them. You can be like twins. Twins. But mine are pants. He goes... But I pull them up. I put them on the other day and was wearing them around the house, and he's like, those are at-home shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, they're almost to my knees. He's like, those are at-home those shorts. Those are, like, for a fucking midget, maybe, it would be your knee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even play it off. Cheek chillers? <laughs> no, they're not cheek No, chillers. no. They, they, I mean, literally, they come, like, they come to, like, maybe right here. They're like, they're not... Not, really to, ha- not most the, all the way to her knee. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, halfway yeah. there. Yeah, what's up? Continue on. Uh, <laughs> they were, I don't know. At home shorts. They are at home shorts. I, I think he just doesn't like that they're, like, leggings, but shorts. So they're 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 they don't hide a whole lot when it comes to how they fit. Them are clam showers. <laughs> that's why when I wear, because I, I do wear mine out, but I wear a shirt that's long enough that you're not gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'd wear it with a cami because I'm yeah, that person. I would not. The she don't I'd give a be, fuck. I'd be looking down like nah. I wear nah. leggings in a cami on a regular basis. Actually, that's what I have on underneath this. Is leggings in a cami now? Probably. That I think about it. Yeah, clam showers. Clam shorts. You're so fucking ridiculous. They are not. Butterfly clam shorts. No, showers. Clam showers. Butterfly clam showers. I think they'd look cute with a little black cami, but we'll see. What, your clam would look nice? No, the butterfly shorts, you fuck. I'm sure it does look nice in those. They started a whole different conversation. They did. (laughs) Oh man! <laughs> that like was funny. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. So we we're talking about uh, afternoon highs. <laughs> Dude, I a love second to go. Afternoon highs. And what always comes to mind, and this could be like a bit of advice of the night, really. It could be. An afternoon high is like <laughs> catching uh, <coughs> catching a high. <coughs> There's a difference between catching a high and getting stoned, though. <laughs> like yeah. catching a high, it's just casual. Kind of get a little buzz going on, and yeah, I got. But weird. you're not like couch walk. <laughs> you're good now. <laughs> but like getting stoned, like I don't know. Like in the afternoon, I definitely do- try not to get stoned in the afternoon. Catching a buzz <laughs> is one thing. Ripping like a dab, maybe two. Hmm? He does. He shares me mine with me sometimes. I he takes, seen him drink pop in so long. He takes like a sip of mine here and there, but he really doesn't drink drink it. Last week I had to work with the bitches. And the bitches. D and Val's drinks were on the table like when we were first going, you know, like because they were sitting obviously. Right. And I put mine on the back prep table. Well, then an internet order come in, so I was at the thing, you know, printing it out, and I turned around. Val's picking up my drink, and I said, "You might not want to take a drink of that." She took a big old drink. She was, I said, I told you, I might not want to take a drink of it. It's not yours. And like, she just kind of like pushed it back. And I'm like, nah, I dumped it out. I wouldn't drink it. I'm nah, just, I wouldn't either. Not after her. No. You might catch the bit. Might get some dick spit in there. <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. And I don't want to know. Damn. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sex is not everything. But how could you marry somebody that can't have sex with you. I don't know. I don't want to get talking about that subject. That's a gross subject. Thanks, anyways. 
Yeah. Thanks. Hard pass. Hard. <laughs> you know. You know who she's married to, right? Yes, but no. Lucky son. Gotcha. Yeah. He's squirrely. That dude grabs my ass every fucking time I see him. <laughs> Has since I was like 11 years old. Every time he gives me a hug. Smacks me on the ass. Every Jeez. time. I'm like, lucky. Larry? Yeah. I'm like, lucky. Can we just not? Now, is it lucky? Yeah, it's or his lucky. Son? Oh, okay. It's lucky. No, his son. I know. I know it's his I son. Gotcha. I'm saying that lucky is a squirrely motherfucker. I gotcha. He makes me laugh, and he's nice. Like, I know him. Only and he does. Because... It's it's not just me. It's everybody. He every woman he hugs. That's what he does. It's when Xander was probably like five years old. My dad or my stepmom used to work with, and I had to take my stepmom out there for something, and they had puppies, like hound dogs or beagles or whatever. Probably beagles. Beagles, and Xander fell in love, and I didn't want a dog like. Because, you know, I was pregnant with Gunner. I, I just didn't want another dog, you know. But right. But I got it. Right. And uh, and he says, no, I said, uh, how much for that dog, you know? And he goes, well, if if the, if the little boy asked me for it, it's his. Yep. Yeah, and that's, that's how he's, I got Princess and Sheep. He's, a, like, a super, super nice dude. He does I've a lot for people. never, you know, had... You know, I mean, other than her, a female dog. And I'm telling you, after I got Izzy, I'll never get another female again. <laughs> I will take my males any day because Sky listens. Izzy. I prefer male dogs over I don't know female, whether she's but... just, like, stubborn. Because I know she can hear. Like, because when I yell at her, she, you know, she cowards or you know, and I put some... I mean, she may not be able to hear, like... Hear well, yes, but she hears she something. Hear, um, yes. Chewing my shoes. You can't just tap this dog either it doesn't like and she goes after my cats and i smack her like not hard but you know what i'm saying right break her but i don't know what else what else to do because she just goes right back to her yep. two seconds later telling it well but when she's stoned she, she ate shit. tyler's dabs yeah she was the perfect dog i couldn't ask for a better dog they make pet cbd i'm so last night to get her to calm down i literally had to cover up in a blanket and put enough weight on it so, you know... Like a way to blag it. Yeah. So she goes to sleep. Oh, she's bad. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. I have a piece of, like, a dog... Like, a dog cage <laughs> in front of my door Both because ladies. she got to the point where she hits my door, she can unlock it and run out. What a brat. She's getting too old. I need your lighter. Why are you so old? <laughs> I'm lucky. My dogs actually listen pretty good, and they're pretty good dogs. Like, I really can't bitch. They're kind what of dumb, but they're good you? dogs. <laughs> I'm not holding you up. I'm not holding me up. <laughs> exactly. Well, you're right on me. Well, I thought that's what couples were supposed to do. But when you're pushing me over... Oh, my bad. <laughs> It's got to be even distribution. Jordan, I have a hard <laughs> enough time. Hey! Oh, but would you... I have a hard enough time holding myself up, <coughs> let alone you too. Especially when you start getting a little stoned. A little stony. All of a sudden, you guys turn into leading tower of pizza over there. He does. I've never met somebody that can fall asleep in the shower. Oh, I can. Very easily. I'm stoned. I feel like that sounds like a dangerous situation. <laughs> it is a very It's a good way to break an ankle oh, or a yeah. hip or something. Or, you know, drown. Crack your head That's off. That's why I'm glad I have a bathtub. Shower. Because yeah. if I'm really stoned and I really want it, then I'll just take a bath. Although sometimes I, I really back <coughs> and woke up to the water up here. <coughs> I don't think I would take a bath instead of a shower more often if we had like a nice big bath. A claw bathtub. But you're going to have to hold this because I have to pee. Go like... When I was growing up, my mom always had an amazing claw tub that yeah, was like yes. six and a half foot long and like this wide yeah. and like three deep, three oh, feet yeah. deep. And we like, want... you can literally like lay in it and like put your legs way up and your arms Aww. way up and just be like, oh yeah. I told him when we remodel our bathroom, we're going to go look at bathtubs and we're literally going to go t- pick out our favorite one. The one that's big enough for both of us and we're both happy with and we're just going to, that's going to be our bathtub. Nice. Someday I want to add 10 feet to the back of my house. Nice. And then... Another bedroom? Then That's gonna... a really separate build. That's a separate... It's funny. It did it quietly because it's in do not disturb mode. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. 
<laughs> but um, we're going to add that. The other bedroom is a completely separate build. This is like after we have our buildings and stuff. Oh, okay. But we want to extend our bedroom and then we want to extend our bathroom, take out the shower and toilet. This is probably leave the toilet where it is, actually. Yeah. And Can then we- <clears throat> make the shower like a room shower with a door. Nice. And then have a big ass tub. All tile. Double vanity. All tile. Or stone. Ah, uh, something along those lines. Something. Something that's easy When to we think. decide we're going to do, do yeah. it. And then we're going to build a library on the back of it. Yep. Nice. And then on top of the library. I'm going to have a set of stairs on the side. Like spiral. That's going to go, like, into it from the outside. And then also, like, it's above the library with a flip door. Yeah. And I want to have it so that way... It, we're going to call it the adult room and have a big ass uh, table in there Nice to smoke at and then have like windows that you could push forward up, like push up and it's going to be a big round room with nice. like a someday watch and see. Mm. Our house is going to be really like a, funky looking. But. I want to have a big round coffee table and then like a bunch of bean bags, cha- like real bean bag chairs, not these. Like, actual bean bags and shit all right. for everybody to sit around it. And... Yeah, and, like, I want to showcase all my Zippos in there on the walls. Yep, and all of our And pipes. then all of our pieces that we have, because we have a lot of pieces. Like, way more than any two people, honestly, yep. would ever we need. We want to be able to so. make it so that the ceiling, you can open up the windows and the ceiling. So and, that, like, slide them open. Right. So in the winter, we can just, like, open them up, like, this much and just... Let the smoke. Yeah, let the smoke go out and smoke out there, or else maybe we'll just get a ventilation system that yeah. goes out too. We talked about doing for the that winter. too. I have one in my bathroom, and poor Tyler wanted me to really know that he was smoking. He would go in there and turn the thing on. Because <laughs> you know the coughing wouldn't give it away. Well, back then he just smoked a little bit of weed, so it wasn't you know as bad. But when but what I'm saying though, like you're not gonna like you cough. I don't pay attention when he's in the bathroom. <laughs> You're like, I don't care what he's doing in there. And now he just... It's going to eat me yeah. out of house and home. And he's skin and bones. Tell them dabby dabby. That kid can eat. Yeah, he eats more than I do. And that's saying something. I wish I could eat that much. And <laughs> Ugh, I know. There's a lot of times that my eyes are definitely bigger than my stomach. And then I look and at I him and I'm like, finish my I ice? didn't take chips. I ate cookies. I broke down and ate two cookies because yeah. when I cleaned it, yes. So she looks at him this morning and she goes, they're not good enough. I'm not eating them. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Because she was bad. like convincing I herself am, that she didn't need cookies. Yeah, and I'm bad because, you know, I'm so used to working huh. with him and I'm sorry, he'll walk by and look at a cookie and he'll... I'll say that was all really good, and I'll, I'll, you know, because I'm just so used to him being, you know, just hot in there. There's nothing better than a hot. I cookie. need, I need Canada to make cookies again. She burns them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Why. She burns the chocolate chip ones and sends them home to me. Duh. <laughs> then she has milk cookies. Yeah. Hey. I, you gotta soften them up. That was fun. They're so good. I love it. Last time she sent me like a dozen of them and I had them, or no, it was like two dozen and I had them gone in like two days. It was delicious. <laughs> what the fuck? Boom. Yeah, I was wondering how much we had left in here. None. None. I filled all three pipes with that. I actually had like the perfect amount. She, did, she even scraped it all out. Yep. There's like a couple crummy crummies in the bottom and that's it. A little crummy crummy. A little crummy. Poo poo. OG? Yes. Here, I'll trade you. Okay. I have to unload the goodie bag yet and put it all away. Yeah. I has not done that yet. Well, he had it in a little red bag. <laughs> yeah, I had Your door dash the- bag? <laughs> that's <laughs> what I had their Dude, stuff in. that's okay. You know what I from, had there the other just day? From, sure. Just from Myth's house to the store, I had them in there. Otherwise, I had them... In that big fucking jar in the trunk. But okay, I was but... laughing at him because <laughs> I went outside to smoke cigarettes. I didn't have no cigarettes, so I ran Quickfill. 
And then Dave pulled in. I'm like, oh shit, I ran inside, grabbed him, ran back over there. And we, he, and I was walking back in. He goes, no, come here. And he had in his little red DoorDash bag on his pasture. <laughs> so you want to know what I put in his DoorDash bag the other day? A bag of frozen rats, uh, one live <laughs> rat, and four lizards. <laughs> In containers, you know, but no, oh my God. all chilling in there because it was hot as fuck, and I didn't want them getting too hot because it's yeah. worse for them to get too hot. So I put the frozen rats in the bottom, and then put a piece of styrofoam down, and then set them all on top of it. Nice. I just happened to have a piece of styrofoam laying in there. I lucky, uh, lucky, lucky is what that was. Yeah, lucky, lucky. Before it was from getting Athena. Yeah, I want sliding on styrofoam or uh, not styrofoam. Uh, Cardboard this, this morning. I watched a video today of some people. There's this hill someplace somewhere. I have no fucking clue. And it had this really tall grass. And they sat down and they just scooted their butts like three times and woo! Slide down on their ass all the way. It was a big fucking hill, too. <laughs> they were laughing and giggling. And I'm like, man, I bet your asses are sore from every fucking rock you hit down oh on the way down. God. But that looked like fun. I'd do it at least once. At least. And then I'd have to go to the chiropractor. Break your tailbone or something stupid, Sorry. you know. I won't. Do it. I know you won't, but you had back surgery. Oh, yes, man. Recently. Yeah. Oh, I'm so cautious. Like, when I slipped today on that piece of card, we're not at work at home. The, the kids had had a pizza box. And I picked it up, like, three times. And that's Gunner's chore to take the garbage out. Uh-huh. Well... Last night he must not have, and guess what? I went out to go to the bathroom today, come around the corner, and... Went for a slip inside, did you? Yeah. That's okay. I put the boy to bed, and then I went to put the lettuce container I emptied today into the garbage, and realized he didn't change the garbage today, and it's really fucking full, and I'm like... Fuck. He has literally, like, four chores. I'm like, come on. And dude. I have to tell him at least three Every times day. each one. I'm like, really? How many times a day do I have to tell Gunner to do something? Oh my god. I'm like, Sometimes it's a, it's actually a screaming match because he just he doesn't <sighs> listen and he's cocky. So I ground him from stuff and that doesn't. Nah, I found a punishment that fucking works. He hates it. I put him on hard labor. He literally has to clean all day for however many consecutive days I fucking decide, depending on his offense. Mm -hmm. He lies to me. He gets one day. If he steals from me, he gets one day. If he lies about it, like about stealing from me, that's two days. And every time he lies about it, that's an extra day. One time, he got a whole week of it. You want to tell him he was not happy. The other day, we made him you know that chair that had the clothes in it? Like, like all those of clothes? laundry? Yeah. He, he folded all of them. folded all that laundry in, in, in like a three-hour span. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yep. Oh, my God. I that told was, him, I yeah, said, since you're on hard cleaning today, I was like, you could fold those clothes. He's like, oh, all right. I was like, but as a reward, whenever you do get done folding them all, I'll let you be done doing stuff for the day. He's like, all right. I'm like, hey, as short as you think it's going to be, kid. Like, he was like, all right, I'm going to get this done. He's like going, like, he's actually going for him. I'm like, sweet. I'll tell you what, though. After like an hour, he's like, he was I'm like, like oh. Okay. What happened to all that spunk? He's like, there's a lot of clothes. I'm like, I know. That's why you're doing it, and I'm not. Hey, Mr. he stole Trouble. one of my Lindor chocolates out of my Easter candy Ooh. and then lied about it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he got his comeuppance. So he had so two he days. So he two days. Mm-hmm. Got two days of labor. What sucks for him, it was Friday and Saturday. Aww. He does that like every week. I'm like, he does something to fuck up every single Thursday. I'm like, Thursday. you ruin your weekend. Because on school days, if he goes to school all day and then he comes home, that that evening of hard labor, that's a whole day. Yeah. Like, he had school, that's fine. But if he's unlucky enough to hit a weekend, he literally gets the whole day. Oh, so you think if he wanted to, you know, fuck up, he'd do it. Like, during the Monday week. Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> Not, you know, fuck up on Thursday. Yeah. Right. God, you haven't got to green hit it. I have a headache. So That's not good. good. No. I, I'm a did hot mess today. Did you eat pepperoni today? No. You did a couple of days ago. Or was that last week? I don't know. It was like last week. No. Uh-uh. When oh, is that why you had a migraine last no. week? No. It was I last week. Sunday, I thought you got something with pepperoni. I didn't work on Sunday. 
You come in and got change and made a sub. Yeah, yes. I he had a. I was a ham. Oh, okay. I didn't it was a it was. ham and bacon. Okay. Yeah, I know it's right. in the fridge. I ate half of it, but it was a ham and bacon breakfast sandwich. Yeah. And then I burped up fucking eggs all day because I'm a fucking moron. But I'm saying that pepperoni, and I didn't like put two and two together because I do <coughs> my game quite quite often. Like there'd be days I'd have one like two, three, four days in a row. It's because I got that BMT. I get them when, uh... And then I quit. You know? After I told you that, then you were like, <laughs> yeah, actually. realizing it, yeah. So, I I mean, I still eat them, but very, very seldom. When Just I, when you're a glutton for yeah. spit and want one really bad. When I've made a bunch of them that day, that's when... <coughs> that's me on. with spicy Italians. Yes. I fucking love spicy Italians. Oh, they're so good. I know. And I love them on a flatbread. So, like, <coughs> every once in a while, I gotta be really bad and eat them on a flatbread and... If I'm getting a lot of headaches and very frequent migraines, my neck's out of place and I need to go get it fixed. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, by the way, the OG Kush is pretty rough. Ooh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, it'll fuck you up, though. Yeah, promise. Nice yeah. Drain. It's rough for a reason. It's a Indica hybrid oh, that's dominant. <laughs> don't hit it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat the carb, Jordan. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't <coughs> yeah. Just, yep, do it. Because it's a bad it's life rolling choice. Hard. Carb. She don't want more. She said. I'm sorry. She's like, no, I'm done with that. <laughs> she just need, or she just need to remind you. That's all. Sorry. What are we gonna watch tonight? I'm like, just got thinking about. It. I'm like, what are we watching? That's a new show. Okay. I miss it. However, Son in Law was a beautiful choice last night. I love that movie. Dude, me too. When we, we were really having the baby, the first like twenty minutes because we both fell asleep. Yeah, we did. When, uh, I like when he does that in that field, whatever. He yes, does. he writes <laughs> crawl. That's my favorite part of the whole movie. Oh my god! I, don't I usually fall what asleep. Watch out, Theo! I'm a ram, ya. I usually Is fall asleep. Going? But I'm saying I usually fall asleep, at, you know, a little bit into it, and then I wake up at that spot. Every time I've tried to, I don't it's think it's probably because you hear him start singing John Denver and you're like, wake up from it, right? I like I said, I I don't think I've watched the whole movie. I've watched bits and pieces of it, but oh my god, I, no! Probably if I, you know, pieced them all together. It's been one of my favorite movies since I was a kid because my mom absolutely loved Son in Law when I was a kid. Oh my god, when we were in the hospital having the oh, other boy. The fuck. We brought a bunch of movies with us because we knew we were going to be there for a couple days. Like nine movies. Okay, we were there for three days and we watched Son-in-Law five times. We only watched two of the nine movies. Were you in labor that long? No. No. We were there for three days because... Day one, labor, and then day two, they made us stay an extra day and we got to go home later on day three. We had to stay an extra day because... Oh, I think his Billy Rubin count was just a smidge know, low or something, or yeah. a little hot. Something it was something with his Billy Rubin count, and they just wanted to, wanted us to stay an extra day, and we did. I don't know what the fuck that means. Had to do it has to do with having jaundice, jaundice in your liver and stuff, which I had jaundice is, when I was yes. a baby. Bad jaundice. My mom said that I was like yellow, yellow. My eyes were like piss yellow. Yeah, I had to go to the hospital. And somebody that has liver like. Failure liver problems, their skin will be like a yellow, like almost a green color, yellow green. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, Jordan. Sorry. Now everybody just heard a cool one. My apologies. So that didn't pack the, that didn't fill the whole thing then? Just the majority of it? What do you mean? Um, okay. It doesn't look very full. I don't know. Because I don't know how much. We've only hit a couple times. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I packed it in there pretty good. Okay. I always try not to overpack it though, because. But this weed is really fluffy, mm. and so it bounces. I love this. Really bad. I like the bouncy stuff. I love that face. God damn it! Why do I keep trying to pass it? I don't know, but you do it every time. I do. <laughs> I try and hand it to people all the time when they're not supposed to have it or don't want it. Every yes. like every every other turn, I'm like, and they're like, I said no, and I'm like, fuck, fine. fuck, you're not allowed to have this. That type of shit. So I shall tell you, door dashing is interesting. Is it? Oh yes. Yeah, some orangutan titted lady tried to pick you up the other day. Uh, orangutan titty lady. Yeah. 
Oh that man, was a tongue twister. <laughs> Dude, I, I was dying. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like I going up these stairs on the back side of a house where there's no lights because and it's in 440 East Fourth uh, Street. Uh huh. Like ghetto, like, ghetto, serious ghetto. Damn. So I walk up this and like. A motion detector turns on. I'm like, thank God. I can see now. <laughs> and you know, like, the storm doors that have the two windows on top and bottom? Okay, the top one was smashed. Right. So the door opens, and this, like, blonde girl, about the same shape as Mal, probably about 5'9", like... Broad-shouldered, broad shoulders, Broad-shouldered, whatnot. You not know. built to be a small person. But not, right. like, chubby by any means, yeah. you right. know. Right. <clears throat> and then imagine her mom's titties on this girl. <sighs> Like, literally, her titties were down at least to her uh, fucking belly button. And she's wearing a t-shirt that she's cut into a crop top and then tied it so tight to her stomach that her titties have to be stuck in it. Like, so they can't flop out the bottom. Yeah, so they can't, like, you know, woo! (laughs) Yeah, so... (laughs) I was like, oh, God. (laughs) Time to roll them up. I was like, this is getting scary. (laughs) This girl's got, like, all black teeth. I'm like, (laughs) she's scary. And some fucking nipples. So, yeah, and, like... Pepperoni nipples? (laughs) No, uh, I couldn't tell that. Just the fact the actual nipples were, like, this long and, like, that. I'm like, holy fuck. Holy fuck. fuck. Oh, no. And I was like, Jesus. Fucking butters, man. (laughs) Damn near. (laughs) Damn near. They were shaped about that way too, <laughs> like. But like, oh, it was, it was, oh, it was. Yeah, and so, I'm like, so you got so black chick, and he's like, no, it was a white girl, and I'm like, oh Jesus, oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, oh God. So she's like, I'll I'll leave you a tip because I know that bitch didn't leave you a tip because she's cheap. I'm like, uh, okay. She's like, do you have uh, PayPal, Cash App? Oh, Cash App. And I'm like, no. She's like, do you have PayPal? I'm like, no. She's like, the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't use any of that shit. I'm like, why would I need to? <laughs> She's like, all right, well, I'll be right back. So she comes back and she hands me a $2 bill. And she goes, they're actually worth more than $2, but that's the only money I have. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and she's like, she starts, she's like, so I think you're a pretty cool guy. Or a pretty cool guy. We could probably hang out. And I was already started down the stairs, and I was like, I don't think my l- wife would like that. And she's like, Oh, you're gonna go that way with it? I'm like, No, literally, like she wouldn't be around that. See you later. And I was like, already down the steps and around the corner, like, fuck this bitch. She's like, like No, my <laughs> wife will kill you. See you later. I was like, Nope, I'm escaping. Well, I still can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before this bitch tries to kidnap me or something, I had that happen once. I had. The only black girl I've ever been with tried to kidnap me. That's <laughs> yeah, that was yep. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he's had some interesting characters. Meanwhile, when he comes home and tells me this, I'm sitting here dying. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have been too. Like, I oh, like rolling. straight sketch girl and sketchville, and I'm like, good god. Yeah. Are you about ready? I am. I am freezing. Okay. Right. Thanks for visiting with yeah, us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We Have had fun. Night. I've missed you guys. Always. Be careful yes. and watch for the dirt. Yeah, watch out for the swamp donks. The swamp donks with the horns. Oh, yeah, you want to fuck up your car so that you can get yeah, in your car. Yeah, it's paid off. Yeah, Mach 3 it. Oh, do you still have uh, full coverage on it, though? I didn't drop that shit yet. <laughs> don't drop it. I don't want to. I need to work. It's getting to be summer. That means the deer are moving. Yeah. Bye, Bye, Jordan. She's like, I'm a Mach 3 it. My pocket looks funny. My apologies. I do fly. Don't fall down my stairs. I will. Probably. You almost did on thank- er, Friendsgiving there, so. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. See you later. Well, our company has left now. It is just us. Dun dun dun. <sighs> right, I have hiccups so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and a headache. I so know. Like hiccups and a headache together. I'm sorry, my love. It's not fun. <sighs> that sucks. <coughs> 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 Imagine if the girl from Sketchville ever did listen to this. She'd be like, Jesus, 
people think that about me? <laughs> like, <it's... clears throat> she would know her. Huh? Actually, you put her address on here, so she probably would. I don't know exactly what it was. I just know it was like on that block somewhere. There was like block somewhere in there. The four hundred block of like the really sketchy area of town. <laughs> I got ya. <sighs> I think it's funny. Right? Oh. No, I get offended when I think women that are pretty hit on you. That I'm like, fuck off somewhere. <laughs> Ones like that, I'm like... <laughs> it's like the old man thing. Obviously, I'm not yeah, gonna be but... upset about old men hitting on you. Like, I know, but the difference is, is I would come <clears throat> save you. You sit in the corner and giggle. It's funny as fuck. They're old men. They're harmless. They like me far too much. Good God. <laughs> this OG Kush is so tough. I know. I'm trying not to cough. Because I have such a fucking headache. This is water. I don't know if your water's empty. It's pretty close. But. We're still good. Okay. Oh. This thing's wicked. I know, especially because now we went from four of us to two of us. Yeah, you got done packing that, and they're like, all right, we're going to go. And you're I like, know, I was like, ah. Oh. You're like, Phew. But yet I wasn't hitting it anyways, because she's going, going home. Yeah, she had to drive. Yeah, she won't get too messed up and have to drive. Right? Be responsible. <sighs> Meanwhile, I would not be driving right now. Especially not at night. There must be dirt crossing the road up there. Or else it's Gary. He does that. He, like, fucks off right in front of his house with his car and just sits there. I guess we're talking about our neighbor. I bet he moves that stuff around or puts more stuff out there or whatever. Probably. And uses the doing. truck light just to be able to see it just enough to do it. Yeah, I bet that's what he's doing. Because <laughs> it's always a white truck. Yeah. They just sit there. We're starting to see our deer again. They're coming back into our yard. Yes, my babies are coming back. I haven't seen Mama. I don't know if... Mama got got during hunting season, or if because they're old enough, Mama split off from babies, and so she can have more babies. And they stayed together or something. Yeah, because they're still together, and they come in the yard all the time. <coughs> so I'm waiting to see if <coughs> Mama comes back when she has babies or not, because she I'm, doesn't usually come around until she's got babies. I'm guessing that that was just people waiting for deer or something. Yeah, it's really quiet tonight. It is. I don't hear the owl today. There's no owls. There's nothing. No coyotes. No coons. Once in a while I can hear a coon talking playing down on the creek. Once in a blue moon. That little chuckle noise that they make. A little chirpy noise. No, no clue. You do though. It's the same noise that the one in our bedroom made. Holy fuck. But he was washing his food in the middle of the night. <clears throat> little fucker. We... Okay, so... Back when we first got together and we were still at my mom's, we rescued a baby raccoon. Its mama had got hit on the road, and so we picked it up with some gloves. No. Yes. No, a blanket. It was a, a blanket. Bl a blanket in a box. Shoved it in a box. It was like a tube box, and we ended up shoving it in there head first. And it was big enough that it could hold the raccoon, but the raccoon couldn't move a whole lot in there, which actually was great, because it kept him from freaking out and chewing everything. So... We ch kept him in there till we could get to my grandma's and got a cat carrier and then got him to my mom's and snuck him into our bedroom mm. and gave him, I put a water dish in there and I put a dish of dog, or I think it was cat food, put a dish of cat food in there because that was all I could think to give him and very carefully put him in there mm. with a blanket and then shut the door. In the middle of the night, this little fucker would be... Chirping and chirping and chirping, and all of a sudden you hear. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? I get out of bed, I walk over to the other side of the room, and this little fucker's washing his food, then chomping it. Yep. I'm like, holy shit. Because they're nocturnal. <clears throat> 
Like 2.30 in the morning, I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it was driving him nuts. We had him for three days. It took us three days to find a facility that was licensed to take them. Because they can carry rabies. So that no, you have to we a, found it right away. It was the fact it was in Pittsburgh, and I didn't have a day to be able to go. That's what it was. We had to wait until we, we had a day to go. Yeah. And even then, we ended up driving all the way to Pittsburgh, which is like a two and a half hour drive for us. Three hours, depending on traffic. And drive all the way there, drop him off. The funniest thing. And then come right back. When home. we go to drop him off, this girl looks in there oh and she God. goes, Oh, he's so adorable! And starts putting her hands up there. I'm like, If you wanted to keep those fingers, I would get away from it. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, What? He's so cute. I was like, Have you never seen a raccoon in person? They are vicious as fuck. Yeah, they're mean. Like, this was a baby, and it was not friendly no. whatsoever. When I had to get more food and water for it, I had to use a stick to reach in there and get slide the water dish to the door. And then very carefully get it out so that my fingers weren't in there. Because he was mean as fuck. He'd bite the shit out of that stick. Oh, yeah. He Gnarly little bastard. Not friendly in the slightest. I had, like, oh. I'm guessing it's probably because we jammed his face in a tube. Probably, to but, start, but it was only to keep him from getting hit by a car, like his mom did. And we had no other options at the point in time. So. No, literally, there we found her body. We found it full, laying on the side of the road. And so they weren't old enough to be on their own yet. So we had to we snagged the one that we were able to catch. The other two got away, and we never could find them. Well, the one went up a tree... And we tried to get it. Yeah. But I couldn't get it in time. And then the one, I don't know where the hell it went. It went into the tall weeds and I tried to chase it and it disappeared. Yep. And, and then we the did, third one was the one we got. We did come back and see if we could fight him again. It, we could. But, so we were only able to get one of them, but we were able to get it to a rehab center. Now there's one not too far from us. Yep. Well, 45 minute drive. And she got her rabies license, didn't she? She has a facility, yeah. Yeah. We had to have a special permit for rabies vector species. Remember, we looked into it. Right. That's here's why you're not allowed to own a raccoon in Pennsylvania. Yep. Jank. Even if you get it rabies shots. Janky ass rules. I think it's hilarious you could own a gabood viper, but you're not allowed to own a hedgehog. No, you're allowed to own a hedgehog. You're not allowed to buy him in Pennsylvania. Oh. It's one of them retarded laws that Pennsylvania has. That's dub. It's, uh, you're thinking of sugar gliders. Not allowed to own a sugar glider in Pennsylvania. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's stupid. (coughs) I want them. A very, very (coughs) dangerous snake that could kill you with one bite very, very easily. Very quickly, too. You're, you're almost guaranteed. There is no warning that they're to gonna die shoot. if you get bitten by a Gaboon Viper and don't have the anti venom. You're almost guaranteed. No, you are guaranteed. Without the anti venom, you are guaranteed. You are going to die. That's all there is to it. If you do not get that anti venom within like 20 now, minutes. you're dead. And I don't know about you, but most of us don't live about, like, you know, that close to a hospital that has Gaboon Viper anti-venom. Oh, I doubt it. You have Anyone to have that it on owns hand. one, you'd be really fucking dumb to not own the anti-venom for it. If you have a HOTS collection, more than, like, mangroves and hognose, like, actual... HOTS? You should have the anti-venom in whatever fucking system they require. I don't know if it's a fridge, a freezer, what it is, but... You should have your anti-venom. For sure. For whatever species you have, because it is important and it is irresponsible to not. Not only for you, but anybody you let into that place and see that collection. Right. That has the potential of getting bit. Anyone that's going to have a cage open with them there and stuff. Honestly, you don't even have to be the person that's dealing with them to be able to be bitten. Yo. There's some snakes are so fast and stuff that, like... Did you know... That there are venomous keepers, it is uh, common practice for them to have a bite protocol for 
their vehicle, for their facility, for their house. Anywhere that that snake has the possibility of being, for whatever reason, there is a bite protocol for that. And they have instructions for that bite protocol along with whatever the anti-venom and shit is. Right. If, it, if it's required to be in that location. And... Like, they that they have a... Pro, they could... Yeah. That's life and death right there, though. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a good protocol and you're good at keeping to it and stuff... Well, like... That's life. That if made my not, heart happy. Right. Like, that, that is a very common thing for venomous keepers. And I'm like, that's awesome. Good for you guys. Like, proud of you. Kudos for being responsible. And if you don't do that, then you're being irresponsible. Right. To some degree, at least. Hmm. Oh, it's about that time that it is. Yeah. We're about out of nightly green that we've set aside. Yeah. I'm starving. Told you you'd say that. I'm always hungry after smoking. No, but I told you today you would say that because oh, that's what we say after we're done doing the podcast. That you're always like, oh, "I'm starving," but we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and follow. Remember, keep it wild, keep it creative, and see you later. Toodaloo, motherfuckers.